having a meeting in the Panamint Saloon this afternoon. They're organizing a Miners Protective Association. Them members ain't aiming to protect nobody but themselves. You're right, Borax. Kirby and Davis put over that association. They'll have control over every claim in Death Valley. I guess pretty soon all the miners are going to be working for them, no, Mr. Jim Benson? For once, you're right, Concho. I think uh, maybe we better went to that meeting, no? You're right. Let's get moved. Hey, how come they didn't hold a meeting tonight? Be a lot easier for everybody to get there. It's a test to figure out, Borax. Well, maybe Mr. Corbis and Mr. Davis don't want the, all the people to go there, no? That's right, Poncho. They only want their friends and their miners they know they can control. So well, we better get rambling now, huh? That's right, but you stay here, Smokey. What do you mean? Your oh. horse is a little tuckered out. He's all right. Come on, boy. Oh, right. Jim. Let's win, then. This association will give us absolute control of every ounce of gold that's mined in Death Valley. And I don't intend to let anything stand in our way. You're going to run into some tough opposition, Kirby. The only opposition I'm worrying about is Jim Benton and his riders. And they won't be here.
Let's see your whole card, Kirby. You sound like the dealer in this game, Wolf. I am. Is this a showdown? It is. Wait a minute, Wolf. We ought to be able to get together. And... I'd like to say something. Yeah. You know whatever I can see here. You keep out of this, David. What's got you all riled up, Wolf? I want to know why you've ordered me to hold up the Badoo stage today. Why? For well, the usual reason, of course. Why, well, there's $50,000 in it. Answer my question. I have answered it. No, you ain't. But I will. You've got Lave Hogan's note for $50,000. That money don't get here by noon, you take over his bank and everything else he owns. Well, what of it? From now on, I'm cutting in 50-50 on every one of your deals. You can take care of these two lizards out of your share. That's the way you want it, Wolf. That's the way it's going to be. You win this time. What's that? I said I was glad you got the whole thing settled. Now that hold up, Wolf. No unnecessary killings. Remember, you handle your end. I'll take care of mine. Chief Boss, for a minute there, I thought you were going to plug him. I'm not in the habit of cutting off my nose to spite my face. Come on. Let's get on with that miner's meeting. Order, please, gentlemen. Order. Men? This meeting is called to organize an association to protect you miners in Death Valley. What are you and Davis going to get out of this, Kirby? Nothing. Davis and I will finance all claims. Prospecting expedition, transporting ore to Panamint for smelting. I don't believe a word you say, Kirby. Gentlemen, gentlemen, quiet, please. Mr. Kirby wants to help you all. Why need Jim Benton here? Kirby's sure going to put this thing over. Now, men, you've all heard my proposition. Any comments? Those in favor of this association, stand up. Keep your seats, everybody. Hi, Jim. Kirby. How can you hope to form a miners' protective association when half of the miners are out working their claims? Not my fault. The miners aren't here to speak for themselves. I say it is. You only invited these miners here. You thought you could intimidate. Are you hinting this meeting isn't on the level? I'm not hinting, Kirby. I'm telling you. Boys, there'll be no association until all the miners are here to vote. All right, Benton. We'll put off the meeting till the miner can be here. That'll satisfy you. Drinks are on the house. Did you hear that, boys? Mr. Kirby's buying drinks for the house. Step up and name your poison. <laughs> I guess it's going to be the end of this uh, the first, uh, association. Uh, the first nation. No? Yes. But I say no. I said no. What are you going to be, yes or no? I don't think they'll ever hold another meeting. Can't you understand? No. Ah, Joby Brain. How long are you going to let Stanton interfere in our business? Not any longer than it takes me to find a way to get rid of him. Well, it's high time. It's all the lemon fish with you. Where's Doc Murphy? Chuck him all of Charlie. Take him over here, folks. Get in some water, boy. Water? This will do more good. Here. Where'd you find it? Near the water hole after you fellas left me. His canteen was clear dry. Tell me. Tell me. This is Jim. That's Jim Benton. I found it, Jim. I, I, I found it. Found what, Tommy? He's been raving like that all the way in. He, he keeps saying something about having found a lost Aztec mine. I found the Jim. Found the lost Aztec mine. Jim, Jim, it's yours, Jim. Sure, take it easy, partner. I've got proof. I've got another. 
I need a map. Don't let him take it away from you, Jim. It's, it's yours. Yours. You grub stick me. Yours and hers. Mary's. Yours and Mary's, Jim. Who is Mary? Shut up. Yes, Mary is in mine. found the lost Aztec. By the looks of those nuggets, he certainly found something. And he laid it right in Benton's lap. That's another reason for getting Benton out of the way. But how? When the wolf gets in from that stage up at Dry Wells, have him and his men take care of Benton and his whole outfit. That's it. Oh, Jim, I forgot. Here's Chuck the Wallace Matt. Uh, he said the mine was yours, yours and Mary's. Yeah. I wonder who this Mary is. Maybe it's his bull. You mean to say that all the time you and him was out prospecting that he didn't say nothing about his kinfolk? No, Tex. Old Chuck was pretty close mouthed about his personal affairs. Well, maybe this Mary is the old Chuck's sweetheart. You gonna ask the tombstone when they come. He know Chuck a long time before you do it, didn't he? Well, that's right, Pancho. He might know who she is. Yeah, we'll ask him when he comes in from Purdue. You fellas stay here and wait for him. I'm going over to the bank and see Lay Pope. Cheat a little bit. Better go into your act, Silver. Oh. How are you, Tombstone? Hi, Ward. How about a lift? Silver's a little lame. Sure, hop right in. Hey, why don't you put that cannon up? <laughs> Where do we get the general mountains, lady? Yeah, where do we get to them? Why, lady, behind every one of them rocks and them mountains is a rattlesnake just waiting to bite you. <laughs> Uncle Charlie never wrote me about any wild horses. Chuck Wallen never paid any attention to wild horses. He spent all his time looking for lost Aztec mine. Well, we sure had all the money Jim Benton threw away grub-staking that old desert rat. Jim Benton? Uncle Charlie never wrote about him. He didn't. Well, everybody in that valley knows Jim Benton. Boy, if it wasn't for Jim and his riders, this country wouldn't be a safe place to live in. Yes, and I'd feel a whole lot safer right now. If he was along to help with that fifty thousand dollars we carry. Hello, Bill. Is Hogan here? No, he's been gone all morning. Well, here, keep this in the safe, will you? Thanks. 
Hello, Lee. Looking for you, Jim. I've been down to your claim and everywhere. What's the matter? I've got a shipment of money coming in on the Burdue stage. If it doesn't get here by noon, I'm going to lose my bank. How's that? Well, I borrowed the money from Kirby and David. Oh, you've got nothing to worry about. The stage will get here, all right? Yeah, I know, but when I was looking for you, I heard the Wolf and his gang were headed for the stagecoach trail near Death Valley Junction. Hey, that doesn't sound so good. I'll out with the boys and see what's up. Thank you. 